Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to recreate Arulia Maroon's 3D lettering style. So, I am just big fan of her, I really like all of her illustration and I thought to try this uh, B lettering. Uh, I like this style, so I thought why can't we create that in IBS Paint Text. So, here I am going to show you how to create this in the app IBS Paint Text. Actually, she have created that in group eight. So I'm going to uh, take take that as an inspiration, and I'm going to create this in my style. So first, I'm going to I just created uh, a festive canvas, and just using the uh, letter G for this illustration. So I'm using this uh, font. I'm just mentioning the font above. So once you feel okay with that, then I feel like I don't need a center line. So just click on this filter so, then, so that the layer gets rasterized and it becomes a normal layer. Because when you are uh, in the text layer, you can't erase or draw anything. So I just uh, clicked on this filter and erased the line using the lasso eraser. So now this is what I need. Now I'm going to duplicate these two times because I'm going to do various things in various layer. So keeping that in invisible mode, I'm just using it, uh, the layer at the bottom. So here I'm going to apply some 3D uh, uh, details. So here I'm using extrude perspective filter, uh, which is available under the style filters. So using this plus point. You can position the angle for the uh, text. So in what angle, in what direction you want that uh, perspection to be visible. So place that like that and you can also adjust the color of the shading and click tick. Now my 3D letter is ready and I'm going to use this layer now. Switch on the visibility of this layer. Now go to filter and I'm going to use here bevel inner filter. You can't see more difference in this. You can, you know, uh, it gives only minor difference because it is just a line. So we get something like a um, dimensional line. Now click on this bevel outer filter so that you get the outer details for that. Uh, line you can also adjust the thickness using this height option if you want it to be thinner just reduce the height and if you want to get the thicker outline then increase the height also you can adjust the height color size and all those things so i'm just keeping everything in a purple mode also adjust the lighting and click on the tick so my lettering is ready. Now what I'm going to do is so I'm just using the ruler. So as we have already seen, she have some line details on the uh, that uh, perspection three dimensional areas. So I'm using the same way. So I just created a clipping layer for that uh, perspective um, uh, layer. And using the fill tip and hard brush and the ruler. Here I am using a straight ruler and positioning the angle which is parallel to the dimension of uh, the line. So here we have that um, angle. So I am just keeping it and the, keeping the ruler parallel to that like this. So here you can see if you don't feel it is parallel then just adjust like this now you can see it looks exactly parallel to that and now you can draw the lines if you want that um details to be thicker just leave a lot of space between that and here in this side the angle changes so we have to 
uh, keep uh, the ruler accordingly and make the lines so here you can see and just keeping that in this angle and here there is a bend a big bend so i'm positioning uh, it accordingly so this is the inner side of the letter I'm adding some variation in the angle of these letters. Uh, I mean the lines. Yeah, and it is not exactly same as the top. What she have made because uh, uh, she hand drawn everything and the angle everything. But here I'm just uh, using the basic font and filters to create that kind of look. So there may be some variations, but uh, uh, I really like that idea so just getting that uh, in inspiration from that idea and I'm just doing this so here I'm just filling uh, the lines with the color what we have uh, is because when the line or in you know the lines are in the clipping mode we don't know whether it is closed or open actually it is open so if you fill that line with the bucket tool, it automatically fill the entire layer so that just click that clipping option again and make it as a normal layer and uh, you know close that lines uh, with the uh, random lines like that I have made and then fill with the bucket tool so that uh, it only fill that particular line area. So clicking the clipping again, so now it looks perfect. And I wish to add some 3D shadings, some darker shades, highlights, everything. So for that, I'm using this darkest purple color and using the airbrush strap side 20 percentage. Switching on the force fade, add the shading like this. yeah and you can also change the color of the i mean the change the blending mode of the uh, layer so i'm using hard light you can also adjust the opacity now if you feel like when you add shading here that shade or uh you know getting to that another area where there should not be any shading so in that case use the uh, laser selection select those, those areas alone and apply the show uh, shading so you can apply very easily so here you can see i unknowingly selected these areas as well and i applied the shading here so make sure you exactly select the areas where you need to apply and keep that in mind i'm selecting this area and applying the shading now i'm going to apply the highlight for this so i'm going to use light color in the same way i'm going to select the areas using the lasso select and applying the shading so here before for the shadow i added the darker details at the uh, you know back side or you can see um you know uh, left side and for uh, highlights and almost applying the shadings on the right side of all these details Both these. Yeah, once you apply these shading details, you can find a huge different difference in the way it looks. So now I'm applying the background. Make sure you switch on the clear, uh, current layer option while using the bucket tool. Now. I want to add some shadow so to duplicate this layer switch on the alpha log and use the black color to apply the color 
and also use the lasso fill. Now I filled with the black color, just pushing it a little bit downward so that it makes it a, a look like the light is on the top and we have the shadow on the board. And to match the angle, I'm adding a little bit of filling in this area. And now I'm going to use the Gaussian Blur to make this uh, non blurry. You can try anything like Motion Blur or Gaussian Blur. So first I'm using the Motion Blur. Just adjust the angle. And again, I want the shadow to be uh, very blurry so i'm applying the gaussian blur once again now the shadow is ready at the background i'm going to add some highlight details so i'm using the airbrush particle you can try any other airbrush as well but airbrush particle gives you know good texture so i'm using that when you zoom and see there will be some texture Now go to the top layer, keep that in ad running mode and once again I'm going to add the shading. So here I'm going to add the highlight details for the letter. So it's going to be a glossy, glowy highlight. For that what you have to do is use, is use any airbrush, maybe trapezoid or triangle, anything. Just make a uh, sm smaller strokes first with uh, less um, you know, thickness of the brush. And once you make multiple strokes, then increase the brush size and apply only you know, one or two strokes like this to make it glowy and more spread it out like that. So here you can see I'm more adding more strokes like a uh, normal strokes and then using the biggest size brush and applying one or two strokes to make it more uh, spread it out so like this Hello. so I am going to use the glitter brush now you can try any of this I am going to try glitter 6 just add only one and here I'm going to use the blur so I just created another layer with the add burning mode and adding these stars here. Now go to Gaussian blur, blur it a little bit so that it looks realistic. Now create another layer. You can try any blending mode that you want. I'm using the airbrush particle to add some texture. You can see a very minor texture here. You can also any other blending mode. Here I ended up in add blending mode. It gives some foggy textured look. So you can say try some light colors. Yeah. Now I'm going to save this. If you feel like the um uh you no know, text is not centered, just click on the canvas option in the transform and then drag into your canvas like that and place exactly at the center. Now, switch to save uh, as a PNG and here is the final look. I hope you learned something new from me and the techniques 
so if you like this tutorial thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and share with your friends thank you